Look at that, spaghetti and chicken nuggets. And then I'm just chopping up a carrot. It's like one actual carrot and I'm gonna make them into slices as my vegetable side. Alrighty. All right, here's the nuggets. Let me just kind of scoop that over. And then I've got my carrots here. So having to be on an extreme budget, you don't get a lot of variety. You get, you can still do a lot of nutritious meals, but the variety kind of limits a little bit. I love cheese, you guys. We're, we're really bad about putting a lot of cheese. Right now, we've been doing a lot of spaghetti and tomato soup and all that, so we add a lot more. So it's more like weekly we buy one of these. But when we don't do a lot of those kind of meals, then it'll last us maybe a couple weeks because we love cheese. We love cheese. And of course, we have our oatmeal with banana. That's almost daily for me. Sometimes I don't, but more than often I do have oatmeal and banana for their brunch or um, for just a snack. About half a cup of oats, dry oats, and then they turn into like a cup pretty much, plus a small banana. Chicken nuggets and rice for Cora. So we're making red lentil soup. We've got celery, onion, and carrots. And then seasoned it with chicken bouillon, turmeric, and cumin. Ooh. Almost forgot a key ingredient, you guys. Diced tomatoes. Almost forgot that. And I'd wonder why it tastes different. Put it all in there. It's about a half left. There we go. It just gives it that extra kick of flavor with the tomato and then tomato juice in there. It looks a lot prettier too, doesn't it? Alrighty, so let's see. Oh yeah, they're done. So I've been in here lately just putting the potatoes about five minutes and then I flip them and then put another five minutes and they're good to go. They're really soft. And all I'm gonna do is heat up that lentil soup and top it over the potato. Okay, here we have the leftover lentil soup. Let's just pour some in here. Well, I thought I was gonna top it over the potato, but this is kind of runny. Let's see, see that? It's kind of liquidy, like an actual soup. So, I'll just microwave that and probably just have like a big potato on the side and just put a little bit of butter in it maybe. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do because the soup is actually a little runny. So I'm just going to cut this potato and put butter on top of it. That's always yummy. you guys what I'm noticing quite a bit is when you want to go on an extreme budget or you need to go on an extreme budget as far as groceries is you might be eating the same thing a lot a lot in a row maybe you can choose a couple different dishes and then kind of alternate so if you don't like eating the same thing over and over every day then choose a couple very frugal dishes that you can alternate and you know one day you eat a soup and the next day you eat some kind of sandwich and then the next day you eat the soup again and then you make yourself like a sandwich or something like that and then um i mean that's what you're gonna have to do unless you know how to get extremely creative and switch it up a little bit or like um, a soup one day fried rice the next a sandwich the next day i mean you can 
those are pretty frugal meals too. And you can you can definitely alternate between those. Or even like a casserole. Depends what you like to eat, of course. You can even sprinkle some of that farm cheese on top. Oh, that is good. We still got about a couple cups of that soup right here. But it's really nutritious and delicious and good for the pocketbook. I'm trying to eat from these smaller plates and bowls. That way I do more portion control. And I mean, if I'm still hungry, I'll get seconds. But this will eliminate more food waste and overeating. At least for me, it's just kind of a, a mind thing, you know? When you see a big plate and it hardly has any food, you're like, ooh, this is not enough food. But when you have a smaller plate and you fill it with the same amount of food, then you're thinking, wow, this is a lot of food. So that's kind of something that I've been doing. So look, I got these at a thrift store and they're a little, you can't really see it. They're a little scratched up, but it works. It works. So, I mean, these Corel are pretty expensive, but I like them because they're lightweight. They're supposed to be chip resistant. And when you put them in the microwave, they don't get really hot like the other kind of plates, the ceramic type of thicker plates. So that's why I really like these kind. So, and guess what? I was about to do a snack, slice these up and eat them with a, the peanut butter and then i was like oh maybe i need some coffee so i'm gonna have some of this coffee i put three three scoops see that. three of these scoops like i don't know a tablespoon but i put three cups of water here a i heard from somewhere or maybe a movie or something i don't know it's stuck in my head where Somebody put one well-rounded tablespoon of coffee per every cup, and that was supposedly like a perfect ratio. So I've been doing that, and it actually is really good. My creamer. As that's going, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of creamer in my, I'm actually measured it this time, you guys, and it's three cups that will fit in here too. Cora, do you want some apple? Sure. Okay. You want apple slices with peanut butter? No, just apple. Okay. So I'll get about half of this, and Cora will get the other half. that much and this is like a tablespoon and just creamy peanut butter the chunky one I don't know I mean I'll, I can eat it but I prefer just the smooth and creamy peanut butter just give it a little bit more all right all right so yeah this is a nice little snack plus I have bananas that I can do also all right just a smidge right here mm. if you guys had never had peanut butter and apples oh you need to try it it's like a Sweet and nutty. Come on. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You want some Popeye? Or do they like apples? Apple with peanut butter for Popeye? Or two. Alright. Good boy. Try it. You want some too? Girl, just a smidge. Well, it gets slippery. Here, Olive. Here, Olive. Olive, silly. Mm. 
You like it? You like it? It's good. <laughs> she does like apples. And they recently tried peanut butter, so I know they like that. But, ooh, I don't really like peanut butter like that. No. They like more natural. Yeah. But they ate it. Look at them. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Back to my coffee. Shut that off. Shoot, I should have waited <laughs> to stir my coffee and then grab the peanut butter. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look, when I try to film and try to be cool, and instead of looking at the actual reality of it, I look through the phone. And this is what happens. We got a bit more apple. This is what I do, y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get the crunch. This little girl. Mm -hmm. is making gravy okay you guys I've cut like I don't know this is a an eighth a sixth of this ground turkey and I put a little bit of onions here and Cora just cooked some gravy so I'm gonna fry up this little bit with the onions and top this off with some corn and some uh what else i don't know if i'm gonna put anything else in this mix but put gravy over this mix and then top all that over uh a baked potato but i don't want to take a lot of the meat the ground turkey because cora is gonna make meatballs with this or make some soup or something but i think she wanted meatballs and rice and green beans or something. It's just for flavor. I'm gonna put a little bit of carrot in there too. We are officially out of carrots and celery. So I'm gonna need to go get some more of that, plus some more potatoes. All right, for which burner is what? Okay, that's that one. So I just got a little bit of carrots, the onion, and a little teeny bit of the ground turkey. Put some corn. All right, so I just added some more corn to this, and I'm gonna be able to split this in two. That's quite a bit. Pop over the potato a couple times to see if Cora would, would like them. Okay. Yeah. All right, y'all. I just microwaved the last of our potatoes. Look at her. Hey, look at my son. Dang, he's like five times the size of her. Mm-hmm. All right, actually, let me do it on a plate so you guys can see. I'll just grab a potato, cut this baby up a little bit, just to make it easier. I'm gonna take half of this one. I know I won't get full just with that. It's like a one and a half potatoes. This ground beef and veggies right here. I'll probably put about half of this in here. That looks about half. And the gravy. Put a big spoonful of gravy. Look at this. Oh, Lord Jesus. That is delicious. Oh, my gosh. If you love gravy, you're going to love this. This is turkey gravy. 
And you can definitely pair this with like some salad or even put, I should have done that, uh, cut up some salad, I mean some lettuce and put it under. Dang it, forgot all about that. I'm about to make some pinto beans and black beans in the Instant Pot. All right y'all, let's make some rice. And I also have the leftover, um, I don't know what to call it, but anyway, it's a ground turkey, corn, and carrots, and onion. So I have that little bit left that I had topped over the potato, and I'm going to do something with the rice and the beans together. I don't know quite what, but it'll, I'll probably mix this with the beans and then top it over the rice. So we shall see what I create. Alrighty, here it is, you guys. That actually looks really good. Let this cool off some. And the rice is done too. So I don't typically season my beans. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of this bacon fat and fry up the beans just a little bit. Let's see, thank you for this one. All right, all right. And then of course, get the seasoning. Use just this chicken bouillon. So, while that is melting, I'm just gonna grab maybe a couple of these spoonfuls and then just probably mix all of that with um, this ground turkey mix. And hopefully, that tastes pretty good. Just a little bit. Just gather up all the flavors. So I thought about making some kind of like turkey chili, but I don't have any chili powder and and or a chili packet. So I'm just gonna have to see what this tastes like without much seasoning actually. It might be good just over rice, just as it is. Oh, that's hot. Well, it tastes pretty good but it would be excellent as chili actually but i don't have any more tomatoes or the right seasoning for it so this will have to do so today is the 10th and i'm making this um almost chili mix almost because i don't have the seasoning for it but we're pretty well out of a lot of stuff so we had rice instead of potatoes. So I would have just topped this off on a potato. And let's see, we went shopping the Extreme Food Budget Challenge Core Edition on the 4th. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six days already. So probably tomorrow or the next day, um, 
maybe tomorrow, we'll go and get some groceries and um, see if Cora wants to go with me or not. But yeah, for sure, I want to start making some kind of chilies. So maybe I'll just grab the actual chili powder or a chili packet. I'm not sure which yet. More vegetables because we're pretty much out of everything now as far as vegetables but we do have the leftover ground turkey which i only took like the little bitty end of it and this is what i'm still eating um i'm still eating from that because Cora didn't want that kind of ground turkey melody thing she's not into corn as much but she still has to make the ground turkey meatballs then pair that with rice and she has her can of green beans there. Pretty soon, we're gonna go grocery shopping either tomorrow or the next day. And I will be getting a pizza, you guys. I sure will. So this um, extreme food budget challenge, $50 a week for two people, is kind of eye-opening. Like normally we're used to just go to the grocery store and get whatever we want and just pay for it. But this kind of opens your eyes to, okay, if you have a limited budget, what can you get? And sure, you can get a lot of top ramen, just rice and beans, like sandwiches, peanut butter jellies, like stuff like that will be super cheap. And you don't even need $50 really. But uh, I'm trying to eat as nutritious as possible and also teach Cora in the process that she doesn't need a big budget to eat really healthy and to be able to make delicious meals. Oh, trash truck is here. So anyhow, um, yeah, I'm trying to teach her if the case ever happens that she actually needs to make meals off of like a teeny little budget, she'll be able to do that. Or she can actually show somebody that needs um, help ideas or anything like that and at this rate heck you can even help somebody you know buy somebody groceries and you know um, the basic food staples and what you can cook you can write down the recipes or different things and kind of help somebody out for the week you know it's fifty dollars that that's really nothing right you know that's that's affordable for anybody to help somebody out if they they know any friends or family that, you know, maybe they lost their job or they're getting their hours cut. Whatever the case may be, you guys can get 40 to $60 and buy the basic groceries and kind of guide them and help them. You know, that's very possible to do. But yeah, just food for thought, you guys, food for thought. But of course, you know, first world problems spoiled us. <laughs> we want to go out to eat and we want to eat um, yummy meats and eggs now that they're a ridiculous price. So I might get a carton of eggs actually this next time because I want some eggs, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and try to incorporate that along with different kind of meals than you've been seeing. So I gotta get my thinking cap and create some kind of meal plan and show you guys. All right, so let me grab a nice scoop. Grab me a nice scoop of this. And it's kind of stuck there. Stay, stay, stay. All right. Here we go. Just simple as that. Basically rice and beans. It's another frugal but delicious meal, especially if you have some good seasonings. See, here we go, guys. Just as basic as rice and beans. And then add whatever veggies and seasoning you you love. Mm. Still a little bland, but it works, you guys. It works. It's a nutritious meal. 
just add as many vegetables as you can to it or just enjoy some carrots on the side or have a banana afterwards. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia, and if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos.